The Rhineland is occupied. Austria and Czechoslovakia have been seized by Germany. And now the Nazi conspirators turn to the next problem, the conquest of Poland. Again, an adjutant, Lieutenant Colonel Schmundt, transcribed Hitler's words. The solution to the problem demands courage. Invasion of foreign states and attacks on foreign property cannot be avoided. There can be no question of sparing Poland. We must simply decide on the first suitable opportunity for attack. We cannot expect to repeat the Czech strategy. This time, there will be war. Meanwhile, according to their well-established practice, the conspirators stirred up the Danzig issue to create frontier incidents that could justify an attack on Poland. Then, on August 23rd, the Nazis signed their non-aggression pact with Russia. Hitler told his high command, Now, Poland is where I want her. My only fear is that some Schweinhund will propose mediation. Appeals were made, twice by the Pope and by President Roosevelt. On September 1, 1939, the Nazis sent the Wehrmacht smashing into Poland and into a new world war. France and England, faithful to their mutual assistance pact with Poland, immediately declared war on Germany. The German Air Force, the Luftwaffe, launched mass attacks on Polish towns and cities. Hitler, as recorded in the notes of Colonel Schmundt, said, Destruction of Poland in the foreground. I will give a propagandistic reason for the outbreak of war. It doesn't matter if it's plausible or not. Have no pity. Be ruthless. But as usual, before the attack on Poland, Hitler had told the world, During the difficult months of the past year, the friendship between Poland and Germany has been one of the most promising in the political life of Europe. January 30, 1939, Adolf Hitler.